Benjamin Enzine died a year ago, and his death has just now been ruled a homicide. Yeah, he was severely injured after a fight with Jack Diddley's bouncer in Kennewick. Earlier today, Cap KB's Caitlin Knapp returned. She talked to the county prosecutor. Chris and Jason, this incident was back on July 4th of 2012. Benjamin Insign suffered skull fractures from the fight and was eventually released from the hospital. He died in 2018. And just this week, the coroner finished his death certificate. Coroner Bill Leach said he died from a seizure disorder caused by a brain injury due to an assault. Insign's death was ruled a homicide. The bouncer, Matthew Hibbard, was convicted of assault. There is a possibility he could be charged with manslaughter, but the prosecutor said it's a complicated case. Some of the legal issues, including the intervening causes issue and the length of the time between the assault and the death, and um, see if there's any intervening acts that could have um, contributed to the death um, in addition to the um, assault that occurred years ago. And so we'll be looking at both the uh, um, facts of the case and the law surrounding the case. According to the coroner, many factors contributed to the delay in the death certificate. Leach said the ongoing investigation with Kenwick police was one of them. The other was to make sure there was nothing else that may have contributed to Ensign's death. Again, the prosecutor's office will look into all those legality issues. It's important to note that double jeopardy wouldn't be a factor in this case. It's ultimately up to Andy Miller if the prosecutor's office will charge Hibbard. In the studio, Caitlin Knapp, CAPKV, Local News.